real change of scene today. Callie Bamboo visited the California Surf Museum, which if you haven't checked it out, it's in Oceanside, California, and it's really an awesome world-class museum. They've done a fantastic job. They have all kinds of famous surfers surfboards here. Um, it, there's plenty of things to check out if you're a tourist or if you're even a local. It's really cool. But the reason why we're here today is because they've done this amazing exhibit on the impact of surfing during the Vietnam War, which, um, to be totally honest, I had no idea about. Um, but it turns out when soldiers in the Vietnam War were on R&R, uh, &R, rest and relaxation, um, oftentimes, well not oftentimes, if they were lucky, they got to sent to the east coast of Vietnam where there were little communities, little surfing communities, with shacks set up, built there. I'm gonna give you kind of a look at the recreation that they've created here. Um, this is a really accurate rendering of what a shack in China Beach looked like. That China Beach was in kind of northeastern Vietnam. And a lot of these soldiers uh, from the US and Australia, if they were lucky, they got sent here and they were able to surf. And the surfing did a lot of things. It was really therapeutic, especially if they were obviously dealing with horrible things that they were dealing with in the war. Um, it also kind of reminded them a little bit of home. And um, it kind of was a way for them to bond with each other and kind of get to know their surroundings a little bit better and um, just kind of escape a little bit. So the reason why we're here actually is because Kelly Bamboo donated the bamboo that you see here that they used in their exhibit. And the folks who created this whole thing, they mentioned that um, you know, for actual Vietnam veterans who come in, they take a look at the surroundings, at the kind of the um, aluminum siding and the, the you know, shed that they've kind of recreated here, the bamboo, which they saw all over when they were abroad overseas. Um, and it kind of brings it all back to them. But even if they're dealing with some serious issues like PTSD, they're saying that surfing is like a vehicle by which they can actually talk about their experiences. So they said that folks who had a lot of difficulties discussing their memories and their experiences in Vietnam, understandably, when they're talking about the surfing aspect of it, um, it makes it a lot easier for them to talk a bit more freely about it, which is another reason why you should really check out this exhibit because most of the signage that they have on the wall is all just um, interviews that they've done with guys who went there. In fact, one of them I want to read to you here. Hopefully you can hear me over this screen here. It says, I'm going to show it to you. So there was a club that they started in Vietnam uh, for a surfing club. And they had a, it says there are 180 active club members. And this is what I just want to read really fast. The China Beach Surf Club became the social center for surfers and surf culture. We were a long way from home, but the shack and the crew made everything feel all right. We never realized how many surfers were in the military until we had boards on the beach at China Beach. Surfers came out of the jungle, their lives in shambles, and we were able to put them back on a board and get them back in the water. And um, one guy wrote here that, um, you know, for some of them, this was the last time that they were ever going to be able to go surfing and they would never be back on their home beaches. So, um, pretty significant and definitely worth checking out. We were um, really kind of taken aback. We're going to be doing a longer video interviewing one of the veterans who uh, was here on China Beach and he actually did surfing and then back in 1968 and then um, now he, he helped to put together this really fantastic worthwhile exhibit. So check them out, it's the California Surf Museum. Watch more Cali Live videos like these two.